Some roads take us home. Some roads take us places we've never been. Some roads and some choices take us places we would never want to go. One September night in 1999, a high school senior named Reggie Steffi took this four-lane road to get home. In high school, I was the all-American guy. Worked hard and had some hopes and dreams to keep going on the college level. But my senior year, after the third football game of the season, I was out at a party one night. I had a few beers. I was not falling down drunk and uh, weaving all over the place. But it was more than enough to impair me. It was enough to cause Reggie to cross head on into an oncoming lane of traffic. His SUV struck a car with five people inside. Two people in the car died instantly. Two suffered broken bones and another person was trapped inside when the car caught fire. Other than a few bruises, Reggie wasn't hurt, but a blood test showed he had been drinking. He was tried and convicted for causing the deaths of two young women while he was driving drunk. I'm 23 years old now and I've been in prison for three and a half years. There were a lot of life lessons that you learn and in prison, you tend to learn them a little bit quicker, just valuing freedom. You don't have a telephone to call your, your mom or call your best friend. You don't have email to go back and forth and, and communicate instantly. When you don't have those things, you realize how important a lot of things are to your life and how much you take them for granted. And when they're, they're gone, they're gone. Jacqueline Sabarito lost a lot that September night, too. She had come to Texas from her native Venezuela to improve her English. She was a passenger in the car that Reggie hit and was trapped in the burning wreckage. Somehow, she survived. Jackie lost her ears, her face, her hands, and her independence. She's had more than 50 operations. There are many more to come. Sometimes the hardest thing for me to do in my life is fight with the depression, fight when I go out. And sometimes people look at me like a and uh, all in or you know something like that the crash totally changed jackie's life she fights pain every day people point at her and stare her plans for college and a career are on hold and inside a texas prison reggie steffi faces a life he never expected i hear a lot from my friends and what they're doing and where they've been and what's happening to them at college and Part of me misses that, misses what they're doing. My best friend just got married a few weeks ago and seeing the pictures and seeing him and his bride and seeing everything that's changing and everybody else moving forward and here I'm just kind of spinning my wheels in the same place, doing the same things every day and everybody else is moving forward. It's kind of, it's, it's a hard thing to deal with sometimes. You see everybody and everything changing around you and there's really nothing you can do to stop it or to move along with them. My second life, I could say, is completely different, completely. Of the 24 hours of the day, probably, I can say one or two hours, I'm pretty, pretty sad about my appearance because I can say on those two hours, things that I couldn't do it with my hands or when I get so uh, warm inside my body because I, I can't sweat or when I sit uh, on, my, on the mirror, I get so sad. I can't change it. I can't make it go away. 
and it's not something that I want to forget about. It's some, not something that I will ever forget about. Some people would want to and some people would try, but it's something that I live with every day. If you think ahead to what you're going to be doing, you can make the right decision. But once you've been out there drinking and partying, it does impair your judgment and you may think differently and you may think you're all right when you're really not, like I did. Looking back on September 19th, 1999, I see, I mean, there are a number of things that I could have done to prevent this. The easiest is to not drink. Had I planned ahead and had someone sober with me, I wouldn't be in this situation. I could have called a cab and forked over 30 bucks for a cab ride home and not been in this situation. I could have called my mom or my uncle and woke them up at four o'clock in the morning and I wouldn't have been in this situation. Two people would be alive and Jacqueline would be about her life. And the easiest way to prevent that is decide who's driving tonight before you go to the party. Reggie Steffi has been turned down for parole. He is scheduled to be released from prison in 2008 after spending 2,555 days behind bars. Jackie will spend the rest of her life recovering from injuries. She continues to speak out against the dangers of drinking and driving.